Alright, so by now anybody who has watched the College World Series has probably seen this video that went viral with this little kid here. I don't know if this little kid is the kid of, you know, a family of Freemasons or if they're just, they knew this kid's name and they're using this kid. But, if you, we'll just watch this video here. It's, it's pretty funny, I'll give it that, but let's just watch it really quick and then we'll break some stuff down. Alright, so, first thing I want to point out, they don't show this kid until it was the 22nd pitch, I believe, in the bottom of the 7th, but the score was 4-7, to seven, you know, even in the 7th, so it's almost like these mirrors here, the 47-47, literally this game was played on a date numerology of 47, 6, 6 plus 25 plus 16, if you add that up, it actually equals 47. Anyway, if you scroll down, they actually tell you what the little boy's name was. And they tell you, you know, once an ESPN camera gives the boy a close-up during the game, it's on. And he has this epic stare-down. But it's the ESPN camera. You keep scrolling. Well, maybe this article doesn't tell you his name. One of these articles tells you his name. Let me find it. It's actually this article that tells you his name. They go to his house and he's playing frisbee outside. Even the little highlighted thing here, CWS stare down, if you write that out in Gematria, it even equals 47. Well, let's scroll down here. We went to Sammy D. Donato's house where he was enjoying his summer vacation. And then they tell you, you know, they were in the backyard playing frisbee. They just tell you the story. But more of the story, I looked up this kid's name. Sammy D. Donato. It just so happens to equal 54 in Gematria. I had just talked about all these 54s, literally Coastal Carolina equals 54. And you know, that kid was from, or he was at the game Coastal Carolina versus TCU. Coastal Carolina's even the Chanticleers, it equals 54. Their college was founded in 1954. The word baseball equals 54. Omaha was founded in 1854. So anyway, you know, Coastal Carolina goes on to win 7-5 or 5-7. And they make it to the finals of the College World Series. I just noticed a lot of these 54s. Well then, I don't know if it was that same day. No, it was on Sunday, so it was the, the next day. But we got this Amtrak derailment that killed five in Colorado. Now, you'd have to be blind to not see that these Amtrak crashes are either being reported on purpose or they're just happening like crazy. Like a ton of Amtrak crashes keep happening and they all sync up to events. I've talked about the Philadelphia train wreck last year that happened at 9.23 p.m., you know, it was all synced up to the Pope Francis's visit to the United States on his 923rd day as Pope. He went to the White House at 923 on 923. LeBron James equals 923 in Jewish Gematria. He was even in the movie Trainwreck. In the movie Trainwreck, Amy Schumer's character is 9 years old in the beginning. The rest of the movie takes place 23 years later. If you write out the word Trainwreck, it equals 122. Actually, I'm just going to do that really quick. So Trainwreck 122, Pope Francis 122, Golden State, who won the NBA Finals 122, Kansas City, who won the World Series last year 122, Golden State even in the San Francisco Bay Area, San Francisco, you know, known for being a highly populated place with gay people. And I'll come back to this in a minute, the Philadelphia Experiment also equals 122. 
there's been a big royal theme as well. You know, if if Queen Elizabeth dies, then her son Prince Charles will become King Charles the Third. King Charles the First and Second were the kings during the English Civil War. Then we get the you know the UK leaving the EU. It's all just planned. I mean, it's so obvious. They're just doing this to fit the recreation of history that they're trying to accomplish. I mean, really, don't believe for one second that the people who voted, their vote actually mattered. That is a complete lie. That happened for a reason. Anyway, like I said, so there was this Amtrak derailment, and since all of the other Amtrak derailments seem to be synced up to sports championships and whatnot. We even had the one on April 3rd that connected to Villanova, the Villanova Wildcats winning the college basketball championship. We had one on Pi Day that also connected to the Warriors, which I thought was a good thing, but it turned out to be a bad thing. But this one, there's not really that many details on it other than the fact that it was three miles north of Trinidad, Colorado. So I went to my search engine or whatever and I just typed in Trinidad Colorado I thought maybe I'd find something interesting and the first thing that popped up it said Trinidad Colorado transsexual surgery and I thought interesting there's been a lot of you know gay transgendered stuff all over the news for the past year or more they've been slamming us with it you know we had the Pulse nightclub the gay nightclub shooting the very next day Prince William is on the cover of a gay magazine. CNN had an article for, I mean, a month I think it was on there that said what it's like to be gay and Muslim. You have Bruce Jenner even today on the headline of CNN on the side over there. Bruce Jenner's on the cover of Sports Illustrated. You know, even last year gay marriage got legalized on 626. You know, what's even funnier is in regards to the gay agenda, there's a lot of people talking about how Michelle Obama is actually a tranny, right? Look at Michelle Obama in Gematria. Michelle Obama. 54. Unbelievable, huh? Barack Obama is even 54 years old right now. He'll turn 55 on August 4th. If you go from the first day of the College World Series Finals to his birthday, a span of 38 days, which I mentioned in a little bit again, because of course Prince equals 38, Omaha 38, tons of 38 that I'll mention later. It's also interesting that she was born on January 17th. We've been talking about 117 a whole lot lately. I even talked about it with the death of Sean Rooks, the former Arizona Wildcat. His name equals 117. Chanticleers equals 117. Muhammad Ali was also born on this day. Parkinson's disease is 117. What's interesting, another date that can be written as 117 is November 7th. November 7th, the day that leaves 54 days left until the end of the year. This year in 2016, if you add up the date numerology, it even just so happens to equal 54, 11 plus 7 plus 20 plus 16 is 54. It's also the day right before the uh, presidential election. If you go from the anniversary of gay marriage to that day, it just so happens to be a span of 134 days. If my computer will load here. And just remember, King Charles the Third equals 134. And I'll mention more of this later, but just wanted to point this out. Thought it was interesting how it's connected to Michael or Michelle Obama. Even if you remember, remember Joan Rivers died right after she said, everybody knows that Obama, or Michelle's a tranny or whatever. Joan Rivers and Gematria equals 131. With the V exception, Joan Rivers also equals 68, which is interesting because Prince Charles equals 131 and 68. But moving on, actually one more thing I want to point out about, point out about Joan Rivers. She was born on 6-8 even, and she died on September 4th, 88 days after her birthday. But if you go, so she died at the age of 81. If you go from her birthday to 8-1, it's a span of 54 days. And if you write out the word 81, 
81 just so happens to equal 54 even. So completely connect this number completely connected to some gay agenda. I talked about last year how Kanye West was at Glastonbury and he sung the Queen song, Queen the gay band and whatnot. There's a whole bunch more to it. You can go back and watch go back and watch my videos from around last June. I even talk about the Philadelphia experiment at that time. Um, anyway though, you, you find out the Trinidad, Colorado, it used to be the gay capital of the world or the sex change capital of the world, right? So just interesting. It was dubbed the sex change capital of the world. It was because this guy right here, he had moved to Trinidad and blah 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 and in 1969 he decided he would perform his first sexual whatever, you know, sex change operation. Anyway, if you read about this guy, he was even born on May 4th, which is 5-4, a lot like 54. And it says that he didn't even get a job at that car at that hospital in Trinidad, Colorado until 1954. And then he took or he retired or whatever, and this whatever man, lady took over and he had actually performed a sexual reassignment on her her name in gematria even equals 54 you can find it down here marcy bowers equals 54 also 126 the big way if you write out 54 it equals 54 and also 126 just like new orleans with the s exception new orleans even equals 54 New Orleans has just been a, a big topic, Louisiana and New Orleans, a super big topic connecting it to France, and we have the Paris attacks, even in regards to Team America, or the opening scene, it's the attack on Paris, and then it flashes over to America, where the guy's singing, everyone has AIDS, right, and you think of Freddie Mercury, the gay band, you also think of just the gay disease, AIDS, a lot of people refer to it as connected to gay people like Magic Johnson who supposedly got it in Barcelona which is up there in the list of gay places in the world and also in regards to the College World Series if I just talked about it in the last video if Arizona wins they're gonna get their fifth College World Series championship and they'll be tied with Arizona State for fourth most so interesting a lot like a 54 I also talked about all of the Carolinas losing. You had Clemson, who was from South Carolina, who lost the football uh, college football championship. Then you had the Carolina Panthers lose the Super Bowl. Then you had North Carolina lose to Villanova and the college basketball championship. The Warriors were even connected to the Carolinas. Steph Curry, originally from the Carolinas, you know, his dad even played in Charlotte. And that's connects to Michael Jordan, even Harrison Barnes. James McAdoo. The Cavaliers were followers of King Charles during the English Civil War. The Carolinas are named after King Charles I during the English Civil War. But it also reminded me a lot of the bathroom law in North Carolina that was a huge topic for months. It probably still is. I just ignore it anymore. But, you know, I remembered when I was looking that up, the word transgendered equals 134. Just like King Charles III, what Prince Charles would become if he becomes the king. I was thinking about the 54. I haven't seen it for a while, but I remember a long time ago I was talking a lot about Valentine's Day. It seems like well, amazing I even stopped it on 54 seconds, but uh, on Valentine's Day, it's just been super connected to a lot. I talked about Lupercalia a whole lot. I talked about last year in 2015 when Golden State won against the Cavs 122 days after Valentine's Day, Golden State equals 122. They were connected to some love theme. But interesting, you know, if you've been watching the College World Series, Coastal Carolina even has this shark mascot that they keep putting up. They also have the little teddy bear, but like the main one is the shark one. They even flip their hats up like the shark fin and whatnot. So interesting, this is on the board in iPad Go. I also talked about how if you add up these letters it equals 88, a number of super significance as well in regards to the death of Prince, talked about 88 in regards to all kinds of stuff, satanic rituals, purple equals 88, Trump equals 88, 
And they show you here, you know, backwards love is evil. If you read out the word love, love also just so happens to equal 54. So the backwards love would be the mirror, right? 45. So interesting. The missing letters here add up to 45. I, O, and U, that adds up to 45. And then it even says evil, T, N, which I'm not sure if that could, what that would represent Tennessee or something who knows but you know the reason that I bring this back up is because if you go from Valentine's Day to the when the College World Series began it's a span of 134 days just like transgender just like King Charles the third YouTube was showing me this number like crazy after they gave my video a copyright strike my old video right after I put up a video about Prince and the 88s Check that video out if you want. There's a whole bunch of 88. I even talked about this purple flower or purple weed that is growing all over Iowa and they're calling it Creeping Charlie. It all has to do with the royal theme. At the time I was also talking about CERN because I was reminded of CERN. All over the internet people have stuff posted about CERN, but literally the stuff with Russia and, the, and Crimea was going on and a ton of other stuff. I have to go back and relook at it, but what's interesting about CERN is the fact that it was established in 1954. It, also, it's in Geneva. Geneva equals 54. And you know, I'm not sure what I believe on all the time travel stuff and whatnot. I like to keep an open mind on it. There is a lot of interesting things, especially things that happen to me in my everyday life. I feel like Maybe it's something to do with how things are manipulated in these numbers and the universe and whatnot. It could possibly be, but it seems a little too mainstream also to be believable. But I mean, there's no doubt in my mind they've changed stuff like the Berenstein Bears, you know, the, the Mandela effect and all that. Absolutely real. There's no way. I mean, if they can go back and change little things like that, then who's to say what else they can change, you know? So, you know, make your own opinion on that. But I bring that back up because this Philadelphia experiment, right? And Philadelphia is where the Fresh Prince is from. We've talked about Prince Charles like no other. But the Philadelphia experiment was also called Project Rainbow. And of course, you know, the gay flag is the rainbow flag. It connects to Kansas. Kansas also has the huge connection to the American Civil War. And the Charleses are from the English Civil War. Kansas was the 34th and last state to join the Union before the Civil War. They actually became a state 34 days before Abraham Lincoln became the president on 3-4. A lot of 34 and 43 in regards to the American Civil War. Also a lot connecting to Moses. But the reason I bring this up is just because of the Wizard of Oz and, you know, somewhere over the rainbow. That's where a lot of this comes from. And then you think of, like, Judy Garland and Obama just nominated Merrick Garland to replace Antonin Scalia. Merrick Garland also just so happens to equal 134, like King Charles III. So, you know, there's some type of connection between this gay theme and the royal theme, and these Amtrak's derailing. You know, I talked about Kansas equals 65, just like Prince, and we had the Amtrak derailment on Pi Day that was in Kansas. You know, even when you think of Prince, the singer, right, Prince who died on Queen Elizabeth's 90th birthday, I mean, you think of gay people. Even though he wasn't gay, he was really whatever you want to call it, androgynous or femi and whatnot. So it's just kind of interesting how oddly it connects. Interesting too, you know, Prince is from Minneapolis. Judy Garland is from Minnesota as well. Also, I forgot that Prince was born on 6-7. I just talked about the death of Sean Rooks in regards to the College World Series, the former Arizona Wildcat. He died on 6-7, Arizona Wildcats equal 67, it's the 67th College World Series that's held in Omaha, Nebraska. 
Tons more stuff to it. I believe Nebraska was even even became a state in the year 67. March 1st, 1867, yep. You know, not even regards to, like, a gay theme. A long time ago, I talked about the Mormons also. You know, Omaha has the Mormon Bridge, Council Bluffs, Iowa, which is pretty much Omaha, Nebraska. It's just right across the river. But that was, like, a big meeting point for the Mormons. The Book of Mormon has 239 chapters. We're in the 239th year of the United States. Joseph Smith even died at the age of 38. Remember, Prince equals 38, Omaha equals 38. There was also a while back I listened to some guy who claimed to be a time traveler or something like that. Can't think of his name right now. But I'm pretty sure he said something about how after World War III, Omaha, Nebraska is the new national capital and whatnot. Just throwing that out there. Who knows if this guy's real, fake, whatever. I just found that interesting that he would say that. That Amtrak derailment, though, in Kansas also just so happened to be in Gray County. I talked about how it connected to the death of Merle Haggard. I have a whole video on that. When you type in Haggard, the only thing that comes up is this little amount of stuff here, which is odd because usually a lot more stuff comes up. But Haggard, Kansas just so happens to be in Gray County, Kansas, where the Amtrak derailment was in Kansas. It even says the... Uh, post office even was dis discontinued in 1954 but as you, I kept looking at like so Bam Margera who is also coming out with a new series or whatever but he has a movie called Haggard there's a ton of stuff with it but Bam Margera even from Westchester Pennsylvania you know we had the Chester Pennsylvania Amtrak derailment Bam Margera equals 79 he was born in 79, Pope Francis just turned 79. I even talked about how Gray County, Kansas, where is it? Gray County, Kansas was even founded on March 13th, 1881. 1881 is the day that, or the year that James Garfield, one of the assassinated presidents, that was the year that he died. He died 79 days after being shot at a train station. March 13th is the day that Pope Francis became the Pope in 2013. And the reason I bring this back up is just because I talked about the time travel aspect of it. In Back to the Future, it's the Gray Sports Almanac, right? That's how Biff goes back and rigs the sports. He starts rigging them on the 85th day of 1958. His name even equals 85 in Gematria. Back to the, Marty goes back to 85 and everything's changed. They go back to 1885. It's all about 85 and whatnot. But Gray Sports Almanac equals 222. The word Amtrak in Jewish Gematria also equals 222. This new one talked about how a van crashed into the Amtrak in Trinidad, Colorado. That also has Gematria of 222. Also, once again, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air also equals 222. Then we get... Independence Day, coming back out or whatever, the remake of, or the part two or whatever, Independence Day, the day after Brexit, even had the death of the football player named Will Smith. The actor Will Smith, even his son, just reminds me of the whole gay theme or whatever. Who knows if he's really gay, but he's out, they always show him like wearing dresses and everything. So anyway, I just typed in some stuff, just to just for whatever, I thought maybe Prince Charles or Prince William is gay or something along the lines of that. I have no idea. You're never going to find the true answer unless they really come out and say it. But uh, actually, just want to point this out. Rainbow flag also equals 54 and ESPN equals 54. Anyway, I typed in gay agenda. 65, 38, just like Prince. 65 and 38. Um... Oh, I didn't type it in here, but the Gay Prince, 131, also 68, the small way, look at Prince Charles. I mean, who knows, I don't like just making up phrases like that, but I do find it interesting, all of this gay coding connected to the royal theme, and you type in the Gay Prince and it has identical gematria to Prince Charles. So, you know, who knows, I'm telling you there's a connection. I gotta look more into it. 
other people can look at it to it as well. I just want to present the information. One last thing I want to point out about the College World Series is, so I talked about how Coastal Carolina actually advanced to the College World Series because they won the tournament in Baton Rouge, and then they went to Omaha, right? Right after Obama's final State of the Union, he went to Omaha, and then he went to Baton Rouge. So I just find that kind of interesting. And if when I looked at the map of this train wreck here, Trinidad, Colorado, 4.4 miles away is a town called Starkville, Colorado. Interesting, you know, that Arizona actually made it to Omaha by playing in the tournament in Starkville, Mississippi. I know what's different. I just find it interesting that this town is so close to this town. Actually, 4.4 miles, which is just super interesting. It's been it's been a death number and whatnot else. You know, the Golden State Warriors were really connected to the 44, their 44th season in Golden State. Steve Kerr came back on the 44th game of the season. They broke the Bulls. 44 home game win streak that was actually broken. That stopped at 54 wins even, right? So there's definitely some type of connection to this 54. But uh, also if you write out Coastal Carolina, the big way, it equals 144. Which, if you write out 44, it equals 144. If you write out April 4th, it equals 144. So, I don't know. I feel like they have a bigger connection to the 44. But just interesting, 4.4 miles away from Starkville. If Arizona loses, they'll be 4-4 four and four in the championship games of the finals or whatever. So, it'll be the fourth time they lost, and they have four wins already. I mean, even if you look up Starkville, it only comes up with these two places, Colorado and Mississippi. So, not a definite connection, but I do find it interesting. So, you know, whatever. Um, that kid or whatever was used for a reason. It's all about the 54. There's lots of 54 coding. has something to do with with the gay agenda. You know, even when I think about think about it, when I was talking about evil is love backwards or whatever, and that's kind of like what being gay is. It's like backwards love. So they've been showing it to us for a while. I just never put that together until now. But uh, whatever. Going to look more into it when I get the chance or get time here. So uh, have a good one. We'll see what happens to the game tonight. Peace.